Our Bucks look to make it four in a row with the third and final game of this miniature homestand right here at Scotiabank Arena. Welcome to Live from Morning Skate. I'm Scott Willis, joined by the gold medalist, Becky Keller. Well, Becky, as the kids say, what a time to be alive. The Bucks are playing some of the best hockey that I've seen them play in the last five years. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. They look confident. Every aspect of the of the team is playing well, from the goaltending to the defense to the forwards up front. And don't look now. But the Bucks have points in the last 14 games to look to make it 15. That's 11 wins over that 14-game stretch. Truly one of the best teams in the NHL right now. Yeah, and, and they're doing so many things really well right now. We saw them come off of two shutouts where they were unbelievable defensively. They go into a game against Calgary where things opened up a little bit. But yep. what I liked about that game was their resilience and their ability to battle back. And you see, you know, just the defensive commitment to defense. We talk a lot about the top four guys and their ability to score. But, I mean, really what's been a success story for this team is how they played defensively, how they've killed penalties, the commitment of everyone to coming back and playing in their zone the way they need to play. Absolutely. Um, it's there must be something about the Scotiabank food, the popcorn, the beer, whatever is going through these boys' bodies, these boys' system. It's working because they have been pretty much unstoppable at home. They've been 10-2 and 3 on the season. The goalie's got a 2.4 goals against average. So everybody seems to be lights out. And you gotta love it because I always say Leaf Nation have the best fans in all the NHL. And you can see that. We're gonna talk about Mitch Marner in just a second. But when Mitch Marner recorded his point, he got a standing ovation on Saturday night. That's pretty awesome. And you can see that the boys are feeding off the uh, Leafs. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a fan base that knows what they're watching. They they follow the team so closely. They know who's got point streaks, you know, yeah. they, and so they are excited for the guys when they're when they're doing so well, yep. putting up these numbers, and it's pretty exciting hockey to watch. Optional skate today. Uh, that's why you, that's we haven't seen William Nylander. He's usually the first on the ice. He's taking the morning off as he deserves it. Of course, he was named the third star in the NHL this week, and uh, man, he's doing it on all cylinders right now. Four goals in his last four games. You talk about the point streak. We got so many to get into, but William Nylander really looks like he's becoming that complete player that uh, that uh, Bert, Bert, yep, that we drafted <laughs> all those years ago. Yeah, I mean, the five points is pretty unbelievable. What a night. And and when you know when a team's playing yeah. well when uh, five points in a night can get overshadowed uh, by a 22-game point streak. But, you know, Willie Nylander just doing it in all zones of the ice. He's so strong when he gets a puck. We've seen him, you know, in the last number of games, able to put the stick in one hand, fend off fend off the defender, still make a nice play. Uh, you know, so he, he's a guy that we're getting exactly what we wanted, yeah. which is consistent effort every night, getting on the sheet almost every night. What I was trying to say that I couldn't get out is somewhere Brian Burke is going, I told you so! <laughs> Why did you guys he have little faith? Yeah, Willie Nylander absolutely doing what Willie likes to do best, and that's put the puck in the net. Um, we talked about those point streaks, of course. You can't start. You can't talk about anything except when you talk about one six. Mitch Marner is absolutely flying. What I'm saying is literally one of the top three players in the NHL. And you can, as we mentioned, the standing ovation. Everybody is pulling for him, and you know they're going to try to feed him throughout the night. Yeah, 22 games, pretty impressive. And he got the assist early in the Calgary game. But what I liked is the fact that he's scoring and getting points in so many different ways, including the overtime winner, which yep. is something as a Leaf fan we've been waiting for, someone to put the puck in the net in overtime. But, you, you know, you just he's so talented. He sees the ice so well. And, you know, this overtime winning goal was pretty amazing that he could shoot into the shin pads, pick up his own rebound, put it into yep. the empty net. and. No. Leaf it, fans go crazy. Absolutely, and not to be outdone, uh-oh, Big Poppy is heating up in the last seven games. He's got five goals, and you know when he's seeing the ice, ooh, this team is lethal. And he seems to be doing the things that he did so well last year, which is getting himself into scoring positions, getting that quick release wrist shot off, and finding his mark on the net. So all three things are clicking right now, the position, the shot, and finding his mark. And, I mean, he's on a goal-scoring streak as well. And there you see shooting yep. and getting points yep. in different places. And we were talking uh, last episode about how we thought Michael Bunting might get lost in the shuffle. However, it looks like he's finding it. Another point, another game, another point, eight-game point streak. And you know he's playing good when he's getting up in everybody's faces and uh, really using that grit and that sandpaper that we love to see from the Scarborough native. Well, he's on a line with guys who can be really creative, really good offensively. When he's his best is when he keeps the game most simple. He gets in on the four check, creates turnovers, and he goes to the net. So he hadn't scored a goal quite some time, goes to the front of the net, puck comes off the end boards, he picks up the, he picks up the rebound off the end boards, puts it in. That's when he's his best. Go to the net, be a disturbance on the ice, keep things simple. Yeah, that's his kitchen, that's his office. We love when we see 58 down in the blue paint. Um, that brings us to our fan duel first goal of the game. All right. We were close, but no cigar. Um, 
I'm gonna. I'll start us off because I'll give you a little bit of time to think All about right. this one, Becky. You. Because you need to hit off the schneid over here. Okay. Got to. I'm gonna go with David Kump, and I have absolutely no reason to do it. <laughs> I just have a weird feeling he's gonna get on the board earlier tonight. One thing I've noticed about him is Coach Keith is beginning to believe in him a little more as his minutes continue to go up throughout the games. And you know what? When that third line is buzzing, because the first two lines are of taking all the focus in the defensive uh, zones, when that third line kind of sneakily comes out there, you never know, but they actually have a really, really potent offense as well. Uh, who are you picking? Yeah, and I'm kind of doing the same thing. You know, the top four guys get all the focus, and yeah. they've been putting pucks in the net, but I think the first goal is going to go to Mulligan tonight. Okay! That's a, and that's a bit of a hot take, but, I, you know, he had four shots in the game against Calgary, so he was getting the puck, he was getting in there, putting some pucks on net. He scored last time they played Anaheim on a beautiful breakaway oh, goal. I like that, I like that. So I think... He's going to be a beneficiary of being on the second line, put a puck in the net, first one tonight. Look forward to seeing the speedy, skilled winger, as I like to call him, Evgeny Melgin. Oh, man. All right, let's bring us to tonight's <laughs> game. The Anaheim Ducks. I cannot believe that they beat us. This team is god-awful, man. It's atrocious. <laughs> I shouldn't be. I, with all due respect, one one regular season win. That is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, or in regular in regulation, regulation, I should yeah. say. Basically, the only good thing in uh, Duckland is the fact that they're probably going to get Connor Bedard. <laughs> so, Connor Bedard, if you're watching, uh, this might be your team. What do you, what do, you, what should the Buds do tonight in order to just kind of snuff out Anaheim right from the get-go? Yeah, this is clearly a team in a rebuild, and they are at the bottom of the league in just about every statistical metric: goals for, goals against, power play, penalty kill. So, a team that the Leafs should take advantage of. Obviously, they didn't last time. So, I think for the Leafs to be successful, they just have to continue to do the things that they have been doing up until this point, which is attention to detail. Don't look at the opponent across the ice. Don't take them lightly. Just continue to play your game, your game plan. They do have some skilled players in the likes of Trevor Zegers. Um, their power play isn't the greatest, but it's not all the worst as also. Uh, special teams will be something to keep your eye on. I think our penalty kill is one of the best in the league so far, and it just keeps on getting better, and that's usually because of the good goaltender. Well, it starts with good goaltending, that's for sure. You two, probably your, your first and best penalty killer is your goaltender. Uh, but I think, again, that's just a commitment to detail and to doing the right things when you're penalty killing, getting in shot lanes, staying in formation. Some of the things we've actually seen the Ducks not do, they had two power play goals scored against them last night as well uh, when they played against Ottawa. So it's, it's the little things, sticks in the lane, attention to detail. The Leafs have been doing it well, the Ducks have not. Well, it'll be the red-hot Toronto Maple Leafs versus uh, Connor Bedard's new team. We've probably <laughs> seen that happen next year. Of course, Punch Up is at 7 o'clock. You can catch it on TSN 4 and with Joe and Jim on TSN 1050. As always, for Becky Keller, I'm Scott Willits. Go Leafs, go.